Welcome to Linux World Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install SyncThink private and secure tool to sync files and folders between the computers. SyncThink is a free open source tool which can be used to sync files and folders between network computers. This is similar to the BitTorrent Sync and Dropbox. In SyncThink, it transfers the data directly from one system to the another system. All the communication in the sync thing is encrypted using TLS, so the data is very secure. The sync thing has a responsive and powerful web, web GUI, which is easy for the users to add and delete and manage directories that need to be synced over the network. Using the sync thing, you, you can sync multiple folders to the multiple system at the same time. Now we can see the installation of sync thing. For installing the sync thing, we need two systems. I am going to explain this sync thing in Ubuntu 14.04. I am going to use two systems which has Ubuntu 14.04. This is the first system which has the host name server1.linuxelf.com. I am the and the second system has the host name server2.linuxelf.com. First, I am going to install the sync thing in system1 that is server1.linuxelf.com first we can create the user for the sync thing user add user2 now set the password for the user now give enter now enter the password now the user2 is created for the sync thing now we need to download the sync thing package from the sync thing official site here is the download link to download the sync thing I am going to download it using the wget command wget now the download link now give enter now the sync thing installation package is getting downloaded this will take some time now the package is downloaded now extract the package using the tar command tar xz bf now the package name now give enter now the package is extracted now change the directory to sync thing now list the files now we can see the sync thing executable file you need to copy the sync thing executable file to the directory user local bin now give enter now the sync thing executable file is copied now run the sync thing now give enter now press ctrl plus c to stop the command now we need to edit the config.xml file the command is nano tilt slash dot config sync thing config dot xml now give enter you need to change the loopback address to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 now save the file and exit now again run the sync thing command now give enter now open the browser and enter the ip address followed by the port number colon 8384 now give enter now we can see the sync thing is opened we have configured in the system 1 now now i am going to configure the system 2 that is server2.linuxel.com this is the system 2 now we need to do the same configuration that we did now by adding the user user add user2 and set the password for the user now we need to download the sync thing package from the sync thing official site i'm going to use the wget command now give enter to download the package this will take some time now the package is downloaded now extract the package star xz bf now the package name now give enter the package is extracted now change the directory to sync thing now we need to copy the now list the files. Now we need to copy the sync thing executable file to the directory user local bin. Now give enter. Now the file is copied. Now run the sync thing command. Sync thing. Now give enter. Now we can see the sync thing page is opened. Now close this and stop the command. And now we need to edit the config.xml file nano tilt slash dot 
config sync think config.xml now give enter now we need to change the loopback address to 0.0.0.0 now save the file and exit now again run the sync think now give enter now close this browser and again open the browser now they enter the IP of the system colon now the port number 8384 now give enter now you can see the sync thing is opened now I am back to the server1.linuxweb.com that is the system1 now we need to configure the sync thing web GUI now go to settings and the device name is server1.linuxweb.com and now you need to set the authentication username and password for the GUI I am giving the username admin and the password for the admin user and now you need to tick the use HTTPS for GUI and here's the API key for the system and click save now now we need to restart the sync thing now refresh and use HTTPS now double slash now click add exception and confirm the security now we need to enter the web GUI credentials the admin username and the password and click ok now the sync thing is opened now we need to do the same thing in the server 2 now go to settings and you can see the device name and enter the GUI authentication user and the password and use HTTPS and save the settings now refresh the page and now use HTTPS colon double slash now give enter now click advanced and add exception now enter the username admin and the password for the user now click ok now we can see the sync thing is opened now we can see how to connect the servers to each other now I am moved to the server1.linuxl.com that is the system1 and now we can see how to add the device now we can see the remote device now click add remote device and you need to copy the device ID from the device 2 now go to the device 2 that is the system 2 server2.linuxweb.com and here you can see the actions and click show ID and you can see the ID of the server 2 now copy this ID and paste the device ID here and enter the device name that is server 2 now the address is dynamic and compression is all data and select the default folder the share folder that the device need to share and click save now we can see in the system 2 we can see the request to add the device server1.linuxweb.com now click add device and you can see the device id of the system 1 and select the compression as all data and the default folder which you need to share now click save now we can see the server1.linuxweb.com is added to the system2 now click add to add the new folder you can change the name of the folder if you need now we need to give the path for the folder now click save now i am in the system1 now click add and give the folder path and click save now we need to share the folder you click share now we can see the, in the system2 the remote device is up to date the files in the system 1 is synced to the system 2 and here you can see the in the system 1 the files of the system 2 is synced with the system 1 you can see the share folder here this is the system 1 share and this, this is the system 2 share folder all the folders and the files are synced now in the files which will be updated in system 2 will be synced to the system 1 and you can share folders and files using this sync thing in this video we saw how to install the sync thing and we saw how to connect the two systems to sync files and folders between them thank you for watching